Slack and you are watching yet another interesting episode of Polycap India's number one cable and wireless company Dream Home season six. And now I'm sure all of you are eagerly excited as we are because we have come to the final top ten houses. And yes, on this episode we're going to see a beautiful home from Irina Lakoda. And before that, let me introduce to you our panel of judges. We have Anush Gopakumar, the chief architect of Kumar Group. We also have with us Sudha, architect and interior designer of Swasti. Like you all know, we've come. Like when we've decided on the final top ten houses, and we want to know what the reason is why they've gotten chosen. So let's get with the first house from Madhya Pradesh, and it's called Kanoli House. So let's take a brief look at this house before I get to you all. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Polycap, India's number one cable and wireless company, Dream Home Season Six. Today I am standing in front of Kanoli House from Irinalakuda, Trishur District. We have a big sit out area right at the entrance. There's also a provision for that on the sideways. Well, I told you about the big window frames that were the colonial style that depict the typical colonial styles. Big windows, uh, big wooden frame uh, for the uh, main entrance door. In this entire area, the flooring is imported Italian marble. Let's get inside and check out the interiors. First we have the fire space which has been converted to a sitting area. Well we also have an official sitting space on the other end. To start explaining the you know, various features about this place, the uh, first thing that comes to my mind is that it's very spacious, it's a, it's a well lit room and uh, the elevation is pretty good too. For ceiling they have done its fall ceiling in that lighting has been given. I'm in the official living area now and first of all again it's a very well lit room, a good elevation, it's very spacious, we have windows on both sides, large frame windows which helps in the cross ventilation and lighting and um, they have done the deco in an ethnic manner too, it's a contemporary ethnic touch has been given. For the lighting it's crystal again, crystal lighting, uh, the main attraction has to be the, the chandelier which is in the crystal form itself, a lot of lamps so it's a warm color tone which has been induced uh, inside the room and we have good furnishings. Uh, which makes it gives it a very richer and fuller look Now I'm in the dining space. Well, the dining space consists of the dining table uh, Which is done. It's a wooden dining table then the rich wood color just next to that we also have a crockery shelf the LED lighting inside that um, gives a, a very attractive look and yes they have uh, again a chandelier here they've used a lot of crystal chandeliers which gives um, even the lighting that emits from that you know it's, it's really beautiful and uh, it helps them to maintain a warm color tone Daniel, this is such a beautiful house and I'm sure that's the main reason why it's one of the final houses. So why have you chosen this? One of the main reasons I think for the house uh, being chosen is that it's it's a very large house in a big elevation. Uh, very uh, Even though it's a large house, it looks uh, very simple. Uh, gray gray roof tile and the and the white walls uh, with a sprawling landscape, but um, I believe uh, it it has come into the top ten because of the elegant interiors of the house. You know, right. more than the elevation, I think it is the interiors, uh, very uh, uh, classic, uh, very classic colonial interiors uh, with lovely wood uh, finish, uh, very good, very lovely uh, finishes, color coordinated very well. If you look at the kitchen also, it's it's done up very very nicely with a lot of uh, wood being used and the wood also being used very nicely. So I think one of the main reasons is the interiors, uh, the lighting, uh, the 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 layout, uh, the the flooring, uh, the furniture, 
and the color of the walls uh, and the decor. I think these are the main reasons this house is coming. Thank you so much. We just got a look at the finalist house and there's one more entry to the top 10 finalists and this home is from Malapuram. So let's take a look at the Al Raihan home. And I'm standing right in front of Al Raihan house in Edwana, Malapuram. Every time I start explaining you about the house from the starting, as in from the front side. This time I'm at the back area. The reason I'm starting from here is because of the beauty. They have given equal importance to the front and the back side. House alone comes around 5,000 square feet. And towards the side, they have lawn space, women's leaders right from the beginning and it goes around the house. But you seeing that stone cladding, what they've done, it goes around the house. So that's like a, a walkable area. Even the lawn space is pretty big enough. To my other end, there's a huge water body, so it's a perfect place for, uh, for a beautiful house. There's a small sit-down area right close to the entrance. To start talking about the various features, first of all, it's Italian marble flooring completely inside the house. And they've kept the furniture to, you know, to the minimum, um, very classic touch to it. They have used a lot of wood blocks, like wood strips in the pillars and the circumference of the glasses. As we enter through the front door, first we have the official living space, which has been kept completely separate from the other parts of the house. To talk about the various features in this uh, room, I like to start with the flooring that's completely wooden. They even have done wooden paneling in, in between the uh, fall ceiling. All right, Anuj, why do you think this is one of the top 10 homes? The Al Rahan house is, I think, uh, one of the first houses we saw in this season uh, at, at a much initial stage uh, before we actually got to see the rest of the houses. Uh, uh, the, the one thing I liked about this house is the setting it is in. It's, in the, it's a waterfront uh, setting it is it's in the backyard of the house is facing the water is a nice large driveway and uh, the uh, look of the house is kept very simple uh, with gray and white uh, from the from the front side and then uh, I, I think that the back elevation of the house is much more interesting than the front elevation with the nice landscape area on the back I think that is the most uh, attractive area of the house with lovely landscape uh, leading up to the waterfront you know so that uh, with with the large windows and um, uh, big big balconies uh, looking into the water so the, I think that is one of the main uh, elements uh, of the house and then also if you look at the interiors all the good all the rooms are facing into the water with large windows and balconies opening out uh, here again uh, very simple interiors, a uh, lot of detailing done on the ceiling and the wall with wood with backlighting, backlighting. so all those things are nice. Uh, uh, also uh, the, the sofa and the color of the sofa and uh, the furniture they have uh, selected or designed for this is also good. Uh, I love the veranda uh, of the house in the back and also I love the uh, white modern kitchen the kitchen looks fantastic i think this the interiors actually got some marks here